Dr. Elliott, welcome. Thanks for having me. Great you. to see you. All right, so don't tell me that the washing machine is covered with germs. Everybody thinks of the washing machine as a clean place, but I have news for you. It's dark and it's damp, and studies have been shown that it's filled with mold and fungus. Hate to break it to you guys, you but... You knew that. But... <laughs> did you guys know? Yeah, and also it's filled with... We're filling it with dirty things, yeah. too. But then, then we run it with all the water and the soap. Yeah, so the key here, though, is that there's always residual bacteria and mold. So what you want to do, give it a little mouthwash every now and again. I recommend just a cup of bleach and then putting it on the highest heat setting, 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. The combination of those two things, don't have any laundry in it when you do it. You run it with nothing in it. Clean cycle, you want to do that with bleach, highest heat setting, it'll kill off all the bacteria How and often? Fungus. How often? I'd say once or twice a month, depending on how okay. frequently you do your loads. All right, that's not so bad. We can do that. All right. All right. Next up, see, yet another reason not to go to the gym. Is it the barbells? Okay, literally, I almost did not go to the gym this morning after I read this statistic. Free weights have 350 times the amount of bacteria as a toilet seat. Oh. As a toilet seat. I know, literally, I know. OMG. Okay, so most people think about like wiping down equipment and stuff after they use it to be courteous to the next person, but guess what? You wanna wipe it down before you use it, okay? okay? And when you're at the gym, check with the gym, make sure that they have EPA certified wipes because that's what you wanna really? do, yes. It's another okay. excuse to wear those weightlifting, you know, yes, gloves. Yes, wear the gloves, absolutely, yeah. but wash the gloves after you use them. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to the gym, <laughs> who are we kidding? Okay, what's this over here? Okay, it's the bathroom, obviously. We know that the toilet and all that. But... Okay, but what's dirtier than a toilet? Don't to tell me the tooth toothbrush. The toothbrush holder, actually. 65% of toothbrush holders are covered with mold and fungus. Not fun. So you want to make sure just, just wash it, soapy, sudsy water once a week. And the other thing, guys, I know this is going to sound kind of gross, but the toilet seat. Make sure that you keep the toilet seat cover yes. closed. And then flush the toilet. Otherwise, you can have a plume of toilet water oh, with aerosols, God. with bacteria. It goes suspended and can go up to six feet in the air. And six feet? Suspended so even if you minutes. have the commode in the separate like, room, six feet is far. Six feet in the air. Big splash. Not Ew. fun. So, what? so that's why it gets covered it get, in bad covered things. It gets covered in bacteria, then it's wet, and then you have How your How often should we be watching that? washing that? Once a week, at least. In what? In not bleach. Soapy, no, soapy, sudsy water, or you can throw it in the dishwasher. Okay. Is that cleaned? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? I know. Okay. Absolutely. Got it. That's scary. I'll never look at that the same again. And this we know. I mean, I have three kids. They're little Petri dishes. Yes. Okay. So this is a kid's playroom, right? So quick and easy thing. You want to have it be a food-free and a shoe-free zone. Uh, okay. Shoe-free. Uh Yes, I mean, otherwise, all the stuff that you're bringing in on the bottom of your feet, so try to No, but it's it... such a pain in the butt when you go to somebody's house and they make, take, make you take off your shoes. It ruins your whole outfit. Especially if you have a hole in your sock. I, well, it's just like you were nice and tall one minute ago, and now you're... Mm. I know, I Okay, know. but you, for the sake of the children, you're saying sake, you have to do it. For the it. sake of the children. And then the other thing, you want to make sure that you keep an air filter, because that'll suck out any bacteria and viruses from all the sneezes and germs and things oh. that are circulating in the air. Stuffed animals are teeming with dust mites, okay? What? Which you then trigger <laughs> allergy symptoms and all this kind of stuff. So, quick and easy thing you want to do, put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer overnight, once a week, and it's going to kill off all the dust mites. Come on. I'm telling you. If, spoken like a woman who's never seen my playroom. <laughs> like, it would be like Animal Kingdom in there. You, you couldn't get any freezer. Right, any yeah. keys. <laughs> all right, well, you could, you could do that or you could do, go my plan, which is do none of this and live forever. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dr. Elliott, thank you. We'll be right back.